This is a quick overview of the demonstration of a sub-15 microwatt passive radio for self-powered sensors systems. This radio uses what is known as a backscatter radio. The idea of a backscatter radio is that we have an RF source somewhere in the vicinity, in this case shown here as the PIRF for plugged in RF. It transmits a pilot tone here at 2.5453 gigahertz. This tone is then scattered or reflected by a passive backscatter radio and local iPhones, Android phones, and other Bluetooth devices are able to receive this signal that is backscattered. The backscattering is achieved by modulating the load on the antenna. And by modulating this at the appropriate frequency, we're actually able to create a frequency modulated signal that then can be used to provide the Bluetooth protocol and communicate information to a local Bluetooth device. The frequency shift key can be done in any one of the Bluetooth channels. In this example, we'll be using Bluetooth channel 38, which is acting as a beacon mode, meaning that the Bluetooth device will receive our specialized packet only and will not transmit information pack back to the radio. Our integration is into the HET Gen 1. You can see here a 3D model of the plastic casing, the motherboard, and the onboard sensors for the standard sensing system. We use the plastic housing of the demonstration vehicle. We then designed a custom antenna to fit inside of the casing using a genetic algorithm that was able to produce a antenna that provided the proper form factor for inside the antenna and also a uh, optimal uh, antenna pattern. This is a picture of our demonstration. You can see the plastic 3D printed casing in the top and our custom design antenna, which fits inside that casing on the bottom. Our plugged in RF will be a standard 2.4 gigahertz antenna connected to a laboratory oscill uh, oscillating source. Here is the setup. Uh, in this case, we are showing an Android phone. This is a standard phone uh, that is able to receive Bluetooth packets. You can see our plugged in RF of the standard antenna and our backscatter radio inside of the demonstration casing on the right. We'll now take a look at a demonstration where you can see that the backscatter radio has been mounted on an arm such as it would be done for a wristwatch and the PIRF is seen in the screen. The person on the phone is simply refreshing until they're able to see the bitstream or packet delivered by our backscatter radio, which is assist is cool, and it certainly is. As you can see in the radio, we were able to receive our most important packet, assist is cool. Here we show that not only can this be received on an Android phone, but it also can be received on an iPad the backscatter radio is sending a standard Bluetooth signal that any Bluetooth device in the room is able to receive and decode. In the future, we'll have this backscatter radio be able to send back analog information from sensors such as an EKG or a pulse rate monitor or other devices and sensors. The radio we showed today consumes 13 microwatts, and our goal is to further integrate this and reduce the power. As you can see, as we move to a commercial off-the-shelf approach with an onboard oscillator, we'll initially increase in power to a few milliwatts. However, with a custom oscillator, we believe we can get this down to 100 microwatts in the existing PCBs. And we've already completed a full integrated circuit design that shows if we integrate our radio with an onboard oscillator, the total power consumption for everything for the backscatter radio is just under one microwatt. I'd like to thank the team that's made this work possible, and we hope you appreciate this demonstration.